Today we have the multiverse. Multiverse is a hypothetical connection of potentially diverse observable universes, each of which will comprise everything that is experimentally accessible by a connected community of observers. The observable known universe which is accessible to telescopes is about 90 billion light years across. However, this universe would constitute just a small or even an infinitesimal subset of the multiverse. The multiverse idea has arisen in many versions, primarily in cosmology, quantum mechanics, and philosophy and often asserts the actual physical existence of different potential configurations or histories of the known observable universe. The term multiverse was coined by American philosopher William James in 1895 to refer to the confusing moral meaning of natural phenomena and not to other possible universes. One useful way to classify multiverse models is by the degree to which the universes proposed by the, by the model are connected, that is, by the degree to which they are part of a single system described by a well-defined physical and mathematical framework, generally with a common origin and possibly even interacting with one another. On the fully disconnected end of this spectrum is the assertion, assertion that all possible worlds coexist with equal reality. This idea known as modal realism has been developed in philosophy, notably by the American David Kellogg Lewis in the 1970s and 80s. In physics and mathematics, meanwhile, it has been hypothesized particularly in the 1990s by Swedish American physicist Max Tegmark and German computer scientist Jorgen Smidber that the known universe is equivalent to a mathematical formal system and that all such mathematical systems or at least all of some class of such systems are equally real. Similarly, disconnected would be so-called parallel universes or other spiritual or religious planes of existence. Those other universes might be believed by some people to relate to the observable universe or even to interact with it. But exactly how these interactions will occur is not well defined. Somewhat more connected multiverses could arise from processes in quantum gravity a hypothetical theory and that would unite Einstein's theory of general relativity with quantum mechanics. General relativity describes how space-time evolves, but it does not answer the question of how a self-contained space-time could be created or destroyed. One possible answer might be found in so-called cyclical cosmologies, cosmologies, where where the big the big crunch 
of a collapsing universe will evolve into the Big Bang of a later expanding universe, presumably through quantum gravity or some other exotic process that is not described by well by well understood physics. A related idea is that of the baby universe in which a quantum gravitational process will create a new region of space time that will bud off and potential potential potentially disconnect from its parent universe. This will lead to a tree of universes unlikely to interact after their formation. The process has been speculated to occur in the interiors of black holes. The most well-developed model of a multiverse of pro-life rating space-times is based on the idea of cosmological inflation. Inflation is a hypothetical process of the early universe in which space-time would have expanded exponentially at a much faster rate than at present. In most models, in most models expansion will have been driven by an, by an by an energy present in the vacuum that would generate a repulsive force. This kind of exponential expansion creates a region of space-time far larger than the observable universe and leads to a highly connected albeit al- al- fairly pedestrian multiverse and leads to a highly connected multiverse composed of regions very similar to the observable universe. Thank you and see you on the next one.